It's a normal school day for Erica Thomas Schulenberg as she works on problem solving volume and surface areas in her pre-calculus math class. Well, almost normal. Today is the first day Erica will be bound to her wheelchair for mobility as she continues her battle with the pain associated with cerebral palsy. It was really hard to begin with, you know, I didn't want to... I didn't want to admit that I had to lose a lot of my independence and some of my freedom. Erica was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at the age of three. Since that time, she has been able to walk and get around, although it has been hard on her body. Having friends as a really little kid, you know, I couldn't play tag or anything, so that made it a challenge. But as I've gotten older, a lot more people have become more accepting and I've learned to deal with it more. After speaking with doctors and her family, Erica recently made a choice to use a wheelchair full time to make it easier on herself as she prepares for an upcoming surgery this summer. But when students and staff at North Peace Secondary School heard about Erica's news, they banded together to show their support by spending part of their day in a wheelchair. It's a school, so we have to, we're supposed to join together and help each other out. I think it's uh, really inspiring. Like, like there's obviously some people that don't get that support. Uh, it's really great as everyone can come as a community and just like help out individuals or everyone who is in a wheelchair or just, you know, who has a disability is really awesome. It's just, just to support them and just everyone has their back. When I saw how many people were interested in trying to use the chairs and support me, it wasn't as scary. It made it a lot easier to deal with. In total, 16 wheelchairs were signed out to both students and staff throughout the day and they were able to spend a portion or a full day in Erica's situation. It's been a resounding success. The kids have responded. Um, Erica doesn't feel that she's by herself. And tomorrow when she is in the lone wheelchair, um, kids will know to watch for her in the hallways. Teachers will know might take her a little bit longer to get to class. Um, we'll have the desk set up so that she can have better access for those things as well. And we've educated our kids on uh, mobility challenges for others so that they will be a little more receptive and knowledgeable about those and be able to help others as well. Erica says it's important to create an understanding and to overcome the stigma associated with people in wheelchairs. The message I was trying to send to my peers was that I am just the same as you, even though I'm in a wheelchair. I might be a little slower now, I might you know, struggle a little bit more, but that doesn't mean you have to treat me any differently. You know, explaining that this is what's wrong with me makes it a lot easier for people to be less scared of you because everyone's scared of something they don't know. But Erica says she's overwhelmed by the support shown by her fellow students and teachers. Which means the world to me. The fact that people have taken time out of their lives, that have taken on the challenge of organizing a day with wheelchairs, talking to the teachers, making sure that they accept, you know, everyone's going to be a little bit slower. The fact that people put so much effort into supporting me, it really makes my heart sing with joy because that means that not only are my peers going to support me, but almost everyone I come across will be there and will understand. Even if you have something that's challenging, whether it be a disability or not, you can overcome it. There's things you can do because you're still a person and you've still got endless potential. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.